Hello everyone and welcome to Broccoli Master YouTube channel. So we are continuing our playlist of student management systems and in the last video we have seen that how can we deal with the student forms. But in today's video we will face the data that are stored in our database. And in this video we will also deal with the student detail page. And if you are facing any types of error during your project then please comment below. I will try my best to reply that comment okay. And if you are new to our YouTube channels please subscribe it, like the video and comment below. So now, without wasting your time, let's do it. Now in this video, we will see how can we face the data in our student list. Okay, so I am opening my VS code here. And first we need to create our views for handling the student detail page. So let's do it here. So in the student list, let's create one variable here. A student list equal to student dot objects dot select related and for that test the parent and need all the data. So let's do it and here right context equal to let's pass this variable as student a student list okay and we also need to include this context in our here so let's do it here and keep the comma so let's save it now so after doing that and now let's make the modification in our students.html file. So here, so instead of here index.html file dot dot render it in our dashboard here and here add a student section. So let's keep the URL of our add student. And after that, we also need to modify here. And in this sections, when the user click on the student name, then the student details should be opened there. Okay. So for it, let's copy the URL here. Let's edit here and save this file. After that, we also need to modify this section. So again, we need to copy the same things that we have done above. So let's paste it here. And instead of showing their name, uh, we, we will take the name from our backend. So right here, student dot first name and also give the last name okay so i am just copy this and paste it here after that let's modify the name here last name let's save it and we also need to handle with our image so let's make the modification here here we will write student dot student image dot url okay so it will take the image from our database so now we also need to make the modification in our student.html file so let's do it here uh, just remove this index.html files and here we will add the url of our add student so let's remove this and here add percent for that url add student let's save it after that this is our student id and this is our the student detail page so when the user click on their id then the student details should be open there so for it we will create the loop here so let's do it here and here we'll write for for students in student list and here we need to take the id so let's do it a student dot student id okay after that we need to make the modification here give the url of the student detail page here also let's modify this and instead of this name we need to put the name from our database Let's remove this and again add the name here. 
right here student dot first name after that we also need last name okay so write it again student dot last name let's save it and we also need to face the data of the students so let's do it here and here we'll write the code student dot student image dot url let's save it so here is now class and this is our date this is the father name and this is our mobile number and this is the permanent address so let's paste the data here also so here we will write student dot student class okay let's copy this and let's paste it here okay and let's make the modification here also this is our date of birth so right here date of birth and take the date according to date month and year okay let's save it and here we need to define the parent name so let's do it here it also paste the same things and let's make the modification here and we will take the student dot parent dot father name okay and again paste it here we will take the both father name and mother name here okay so if you want to put only father name then you you can do also that no problem and here we need to define the mother name so right here mother name similarly here we need to define the mobile number so let's paste the data here write the code as mobile number student dot mobile number and let's make the modification here also paste it and here we write student dot parent dot present address present address okay so we have done with that now we also need to add a url here so if the user want to edit that student names then it must send the student names with the use of their slog so i have not defined the slog in our urls so for now let's leave it and here we will close our field okay so here write in for in for okay let's save it and from here we don't need this data so remove this all also remove this and here is also tr so also remove this so remove this okay so from here to here we don't need this all things so let's remove it and save it now let's check our templates either it's fetch our data or not okay so i am refreshing my page and from here student list okay so we have not defined a student here so in the vs.html5 we also need to define there okay so let's do that and in the vs.html file in the student sections and here's our student list so let's define it here url let's paste it and let's save it okay now let's again check it that either it is rendering our file or not so let's refreshing the page and here click on the student list so actually here is showing some error so i think i have made the spelling mistake or the gapping mistake so let's correct it first so in the student.html file and here is our date so i am making the correction here let's save it after that again refresh the page and seeing that either it is working or not so here it is showing no in data is available in our record so let's our server if the data is available or not there admin login here so in data there is two data is available but in our record it is not fetching our data so i think we have made some types of mistake there so let's find it 
for student in student list and everything is seem to correct that we have saved our views.pi file or not let's again save it okay so i think i have made a mistake here we are taking the data from the student list but in the views file i am seeing that here is only student is available so let's here put the student list again save the data and let's check again so actually it is showing the error because we have not defined the view string page in our url that's why it is showing the error so let's define it in our views and check it again okay so in the our views.py file here in our view student let's face the data here and we'll define the log after that it will take the data according to their student id so student is equal to get object or 404 and define here is student student id equal to slog okay so we also need to import our 404 so let's input here the right uh, get object 404 let's save it and also need to define it in our context so right here context is equal to like dictionary and here is student is equal to student let's pass the context here and let's save it let's define the urls now so in the urls.py file here we will write to student okay so let's arrange it let's save the file and again check that so i think it must be work there so finally it is working fine now we have seen that the data is rendered in our dashboard so this is from my side and in the next video we will see how can we operate the edit and the delete functions in our student dashboards so thanks for watching the video keep watching and keep coding